Have you ever noticed brownish stains on your lower legs that don't go away? Maybe they started as small discoloration, but over time they've spread, darkened, or even made the skin feel different. Most people think that it's just aging, sun damage, or leftover bruising, but in reality, it could be a sign of something deeper happening inside your body. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Voltaire, a certified wound care physician, and today we're talking about hemosiderin stains, what they are, why they happen, and when they might be a sign of a bigger problem. Because here's the thing, these stains aren't just cosmetic, they're clues, and understanding them could prevent a much more serious health issue. So hemosiderin stains are brown, reddish, or purplish spots on your skin, usually on your lower legs, caused by iron leaking out of your blood vessels. So let's break that down. Inside your blood, there's a protein called hemoglobin that carries oxygen. Hemoglobin contains iron, which gives blood its red color. But when red blood cells leak out of the vessels, which happens when veins weaken, stretch, or get damaged, your body breaks them down. The iron inside those blood cells get left behind in the skin, creating those stubborn stains. Think of it like spilled coffee soaking into a tablecloth. The liquid disappears, but the stain is left behind. That's hemosiderin, the iron-based pigment that leaves lasting marks on the skin. So what causes hemosiderin staining? There's no single cause for hemosiderin staining, but it's almost always linked to poor circulation or blood vessel damage. So let's go over the most common reasons this happens. One of the most common ones is chronic venous insufficiency. This is the number one cause of hemosiderin stains. It happens when the valves in your veins stop working properly, and this causes blood to pool in your legs instead of returning to the heart. This leads to swelling, pressure, and eventually leakage of blood cells into the skin. There's also deep vein thrombosis, DVTs. If you've ever had a blood clot in your legs, your veins may have been permanently damaged. This can lead to chronic swelling and staining over time. There's also leg swelling, also known as edema. So any condition that causes fluid buildup in the legs can put pressure on the veins, leading to leakage of red blood cells and hemosiderin staining. There's also venous leg ulcers. If these stains are left untreated, they can progress into actual wounds known as venous ulcers, which are painful and extremely difficult to heal. There's recurrent bruising or trauma. So repeated small injuries to the skin, especially in people with fragile veins can cause ongoing blood leakage, leading to chronic staining. Now you might be wondering, are hemosiderin stains dangerous? Well, hemosiderin stains themselves aren't dangerous, but what's causing them might be. If they're due to chronic venous insufficiency, poor circulation, or blood clots, ignoring them could lead to serious complications, including leg ulcers, that don't heal, chronic swelling and pain, high risk of infection, skin hardening and permanent damage. That's why these stains aren't just cosmetic. They're a red flag from your body telling you to pay attention. So can you get rid of hemosiderin stains? Unfortunately, once they show up, they're tough to remove, but there are ways to prevent them from getting worse and improve their appearance over time. Wearing compression stockings helps keep blood moving properly, reducing leakage and swelling. Studies show that people who use compression therapy have less skin damage over time. Elevating your legs is also helpful. Keeping your legs raised above heart level for 20 to 30 minutes a few times a day can help reduce pressure in the veins and prevent further staining. And exercise. Movement is key. Walking, stretching, and simple leg exercises can help push blood back toward the heart reducing stagnation. If you have significant chronic venous insufficiency, you can talk to your doctor about options if you're a good fit, like sclerotherapy, which is a procedure that injects a solution to close damaged veins. And there's laser therapy to shrink bad veins. There's vein ablation, which uses heat to seal off problematic veins. And you could also potentially use skincare lightening treatments. While topical creams won't erase stains completely, some ingredients like vitamin C, hydroquinone, and retinoids may help lighten the discoloration. The best way to prevent staining is to protect your veins before damage happens. Here's what helps. Again, staying active. Walking keeps blood moving. Also maintaining a healthy weight. Extra weight puts more pressure on your veins. You shouldn't sit or stand for too long as well. Move around every 30 to 60 minutes. Wear compression socks if you're at risk as well. So when should you see a healthcare provider? If you have brown stains on your legs, especially with swelling, pain, or skin changes, it's time to get checked out. A simple ultrasound can show if your veins are struggling and early treatment can prevent long-term damage. Because here's the reality, these stains don't appear overnight. They're warning signs that your circulation isn't working as well as it should. And if left unchecked, they can lead to leg ulcers, chronic pain, and serious complications 
That's why understanding what they mean and what you can do about them is so important. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, check my next one where I break down another overlooked skin condition you should know about. Stay informed and heal well.